Hey guys, I just built a bird cage. Yay, we built a big giant bird cage and we actually did a video Wait, of- Wait, we? <laughs> Kevin built a bird cage and I filmed him building a bird cage yes. and so we have a video of the building of that cage on this channel that you can check out as well. But I guess the question is, why did we buy and build? Why did we buy and Kevin built a big giant bird cage? Because we are getting another bird. I'm sure you didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> we are getting another bird and actually right now we have not 100% decided on what kind of bird we're gonna get. If you watch the other video, you'll see that that's a large cage that actually has a divider in the middle so it can either act as one large cage or two smaller cages. Right, so if you're introducing birds, one can be in each side, mm -hmm. and then when they become friends, you can pull out the divider because mm -hmm. it's a breeder cage or whatever. Yeah. But it can act as a flight cage because it's basically wider than it is tall. Right, so it can function as a cage for two smaller birds, mm -hmm. one larger bird, but we are still considering exactly what direction we want to go. We are absolutely 100% not getting a bird before the new year because we are going to be out of town. and. Right. Obviously, it's not a good idea to get a new pet when you're going to be out of town. One of our friends is going to be watching Pillow while we're gone for about a week. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we absolutely won't get the new bird until after we get back. Right. Yes. But we got the cage. The cage we got on a, it was like a Cyber Monday half off sale or something like, <laughs> something that. like that. Something like that. Um, so we went ahead and got that and then that sort of locked us into our decision to get a bird now that we have a big fancy cage for it. <laughs> There's no turning back now. Yeah. We've got the cage. We've assembled it. Kevin assembled the cage. Yeah. <laughs> We're not unassembling it. I love how I've guilted you into saying that. <laughs> Re-emphasizing that every time you say it. And the sad thing is I was filming him but you know, obviously I'm not filming every single second of it, so I would put the camera down and with the idea of speeding things along, I would attempt to help and all I would do is get frustrated because the screws wouldn't go in right and yeah, it was just sad. So due to viewer demand, <laughs> yes, we, Pillow will be getting a new friend soon. Um, as it is now, Pillow's out of his cage a lot. Mm -hmm. um, we're around a lot and he just kind of does his own thing, comes and goes from his cage. But um, it would be nice to have another little feathered friend a little around. Buddy for him, yeah. Yeah. And we actually we like having him around. He's fun. He's he has so much character. He just he's like a little buddy. The other night I was I had fallen asleep in front of the TV and it was about I don't know it was midnight or something. And normally up until about this past week, when it gets dark and we turn off you know turn the lights off and we're sort of watching TV, he'll usually just go back up in his cage and just hunker down and be in there for the night. Well, several nights this week, even late, late at night, he's still out and he's playing with his toys and he's hopping around and I was lying on the couch and he came hopping over and he just stood there and he was like looking up at me. He was like a little dog. Like, I was just <laughs> like, what do you, what do you want? Normally if there's something he really wants, he'll kind of hop around and, you know, alert us to the fact, but he was lacking nothing. And he, I don't know, I just wanted to come over and hang out, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really sure. It was like, like I said, it was after midnight and I was half asleep, so I just kind of, I didn't really reply. So that is the deal for the next several weeks. Um, we have the cage, everything's ready to go, and we are in discussions about what kind of bird we're going to get. And hopefully whatever kind of bird we get, it, it will be a good companion for Pillow. And we'll be sure to, to introduce them slowly. Yeah. Um, well, they'll be in, yeah, in, like separate, like, Pillow might stay in his own cage at first, then we'll figure out like how how all that's gonna go. Right. We're obviously not gonna just dump him in the same right, cage together. Right away. Here, have fun, yeah. get to know each other. So now we'll give you what everybody came here to see, more <laughs> Pillow.
What are those, buddy? In the street. What are they? Baby morning doves in the street. Baby morning doves.